Hello and welcome to Ahmed Coaching and this is your teacher Dr. Anam. Today's video lesson is about blood vessels. When we talk about the blood vessels, we have three different types of blood vessels, artery, capillaries and vein. In this video lesson, we are going to study how they are different from each other. The first difference is that arteries, they carry blood away from the heart. For example, in this position, we have the heart. So blood is taken away from the heart by the help of arteries. Well, capillaries, they are actually going to link arteries with the veins together. So this part here, these are actually the capillaries which are linking the arteries with the veins. While veins they carry blood towards the heart, here you can see that blood from the veins is going towards the heart. The second difference is that arteries they carry oxygenated blood. Oxygenated blood means that this blood contains high amount of oxygen except the pulmonary artery. Here in this diagram you can see this part here. This is pulmonary artery and you can see that it contains deoxygenated blood. Always remember the blood which is oxygenated will always be red in color while the blood which lacks oxygen or deoxygenated blood it will always be blue in color. So in this case here you can see that this is the pulmonary artery which is carrying the deoxygenated blood otherwise all other arteries they will carry the oxygenated blood. Now when we talk about the capillaries they have mixed oxygenated and deoxygenated blood here you can see these are the capillaries present inside the lungs here this part of the capillaries it contains the deoxygenated blood because it is blue in color while this part here it contains the oxygenated blood because it is red in color while in the case of veins the vein always carry the deoxygenated blood or the blood which lacks oxygen or less amount of oxygen is present except the pulmonary vein here you can see it is the pulmonary vein this part here this is pulmonary vein and the blood present in the pulmonary vein is oxygenated blood as we can see it is red in color another difference between these three blood vessels is that in arteries no walls are present except the pulmonary trunk and aorta in the case of capillaries no walls are present in the case of veins the walls are present and the purpose of the presence of these walls is to prevent the backflow of blood here in this diagram you can see this is artery and this is vein in the artery there is no wall present while in the case of vein these walls here you can see they are present and the purpose is that once the blood enters it cannot move back or backward flow is prevented now what could be the reason of presence of valve in the vein but the walls are absent in the arteries the reason behind is that the pressure or the flow of blood in the arteries is very high the blood is moving at very high speed in the arteries but in the case of vein the speed of blood is very low because of this low speed the blood it can move back and to prevent this backflow of the blood the walls they are present in the vein another difference is the composition of the layers in arteries three layers are present the outermost layer is made up of connective tissue the middle layer is made up of smooth muscles and elastic tissue while the innermost layer is made up of endothelial tissue so these are the composition of the three layers outer one connective tissue middle one contains smooth and elastic tissue while the internal or innermost layer contains endothelial cells in the case of capillaries they are composed of only one layer of cell which is endothelial this layer is so thin that molecules of the digested food oxygen and water they can pass through them and enter the tissue fluid if we talk about the uh, capillary just one single layer like this is present here just one layer is present and now the blood is moving from the capillaries. In the case of veins, it is also composed of three layers but the composition is different. 
uh, middle layer actually it has less smooth and elastic muscles in this case or in the case of artery high amount of smooth and elastic tissues are present but in the case of veins the less amount of smooth and elastic tissues is present so middle layer is comparatively thin in comparison to the arteries here this diagram explains the composition here you can see the outer layer of the artery is connective tissue the middle layer consists of smooth muscles and elastic tissue while the internal layer here you can see this single layer here it is endothelial tissues while in the case of veins outer layer is also the connective tissue they both are same but the smooth muscle and elastic layer in comparison to arteries here you can see it is very thick but here in the vein it is very thin and internal layer they both have the endothelium here endothelial cells and endothelial cells they both are the same the difference is just the amount of smooth and elastic muscles in the middle layer here the capillary it is a single layer of endothelial cells you can see and it will be responsible for the transport or transfer of minerals and food molecules now because of the thick middle layer the lumen of the artery is very small lumen is actually the cavity of the artery but in the case of vein as the middle layer has less amount or less smooth muscle and elastic layer the lumen of this vein is very wide here you can see in the arteries high blood pressure is present in the capillaries blood pressure it starts to fall while in the veins low blood pressure is present as i have already explained you before if you wanted to check the pulse the pulse can only be checked in the arteries because of the heartbeat in the capillaries and in the veins no pulse is present so it means that when you check the pulse on your um, wrist you are actually checking the arteries or the blood flow in the arteries the last difference is that in the arteries no exchange of materials takes place when we talk about the materials we means that salts or digested foods in the capillaries the exchange of materials takes place this material it could be carbon dioxide it may be urea it may be glucose or any other thing in the vein also no exchange of materials takes so that was all about blood vessels their differences how they are different in structure from each other if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section if you like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video